Right, so genealogy is a way of doing history, but an alternative way of doing history. So instead of the standard old history of heroes and villains, of good and bad, of redemption, all these things, it's history that's looking at the cracks. It's looking at different perspectives, okay? So try to, try to do this type of historical writing, writing as a genealogy. Uh, but, you know, in the end, if you have to write the, the standard traditional historical uh, chronicle, by all means do that because you want to complete the assignment. Um, okay, so some things to think about here, right? Um, so you might not have ever thought about the idea of reading as a process, right? For most people, reading is like air, uh, but or breathing, I should say, but reading is a very sort of artificial thing. We're not born readers. We're born speakers of a language, we're, but we're not born writers or readers of a language. So this is something that we have to learn to do, and this can be, um, you know, a rather traumatic process, right? It can also be a wonderful um, sort of process, you know, uh, freeing the imagination up, etc. So anyways, it, it's, it strikes on a deep level, but we often don't really think about that deep level. We don't think about the process of how we acquired reading and what type of reader that we are. And to have, to construct a history of reading is also a, a, a kind of strange thing to do that most people have never done, right? So if history is like you know, breathing, you know, uh, or if reading is like breathing, you know, well, how can breathing or reading have a history? But it does, right? So you've lived on this planet for some 20 years. Um, you definitely have an origin story with reading. You have ups and downs. You have uh, landmarks. You have uh, traumas. You have wonders. You have progressions, evolutions, devolutions, regressions, etc. So those are the types of things that you want to do. You want to try to turn your history of reading into a story, right, by, you know, looking how it arose in you, okay? So some of the things that uh, I, I would say the biggest um, problem that students have with this is that they equate reading with schooling. And so oftentimes... Uh, the history of one's reading follows the history of one's schooling. So reading begins in first grade um, and then, you know, has a couple of years of being a great thing and then all of a sudden it's a bad thing and then you're surviving and, you know, all these other things. So, um, you know, so I counsel you to try to think of reading outside of schooling, uh, both before you go to school and while you're in school.